Stefano, roll number two, fourth starting position, your 2011 track champion in the Palmer Service Center, car number 76A, that is RJ Ronnie Johnson. Going away to the inside, third starting spot out of Boston Lake, New York, in the Morris Auto Group, car number three machine is Mark Kozlowski. And now your front row for this modified feature event being brought to us by Benjamin Moore Paints. On the outside, out of House Cave, New York, at the Palmer Service Center, car number 76. This is Alton Palmer. And going away on the pole in the Diamond Fabrications, car number 3J, it's Mark Johnson. So there is your starting lineup, ladies and gentlemen, for this modified main event. How they are scheduled to go to the green flag. Looks like tagging on as well the number 71 of Robert Bublack. Also making the call here in this one, being added to the back of the feature event. And now being informed that the 71 was sent pit side. Again, because he did not report for changing drivers prior to the Constellation event, and then he didn't go scratch, so as a result, he has to head pits. All right, so we're ready to rock and roll here with this 30-lap modified feature event. One more weekend of racing here at the Fonda Speedway. We'll get ready to go now. Down the back straightaway, the Morris Ford Mercury pace car takes the right-hand turn to the safety of the infield. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It's feature time for the big block modifieds here at the Track of Champions. The Fonda Speedway, two by two. We'll take it down into turn number three. Now the field works down into corner number four. Race fans, as I do each and every Saturday night here at the Track of Champions. i got to ask you before we go green, who's it going to be? Field charges into turn number one. Now they work. Mark Johnson in the number three ride. He'll grab the number one spot. Then you've got a pair of 76 cars. That is Elton Palmer followed by Ronnie Johnson. RJ on the outside. Mark Kozlowski, though, too strong down well. Kozlowski takes that three spot through the middle of the corner. But here comes Johnson to the top side. Ronnie Johnson up around the outside of Mark Kozlowski. They come driving down the front stretch. RJ Kozlowski, they'll continue to duke it out up at turn two. Kislowski going to have to run off the bottom in corner number two, down to the inside of corner number three. Here comes your track champ working up there on the outside. RJ going to give a little wave as he drives on by. Trouble on the backstretch. Car going around on the backstretch, and we've got a caution out. And a bunch of cars together over in turn three and four. It'll be Eric Mack, Todd Morey also involved over there, I believe. It looks like the M2 from my vantage point. The original caution was for the 14 of CG Morey as he... And we're going to revert to lap number one for the rundown. Not all the cars had made it around at that point. So only one lap now being shown complete. So, Field will take the white flag here on the home stretch. We'll get ready to get back to it over there on the back straightaway here in this modified main. Again, being brought to us by Benjamin Moore Paints. One lap complete, 29 still remain. So, green flag back out. We're back on the way into turn number three. And here comes Ronnie Johnson. Johnson working over his teammate Alton Palmer on the outside. Palmer trying to maintain that second spot, but RJ, RJ dives low going into turn number one. Can he get it done? Looks like Ronnie Johnson may have that spot. Off of turn two, down the back straightaway, Matty D was working on the three of Mark Kislowski. He couldn't get it. So Matt DiLorenzo now going to the outside of Kislowski as they swing between turns number three and four. Your leader though off the corner, it is Mark Johnson. Side-by-side -side battle still between the Palmer cars. Elton working up on the top side. Your track champ, Ronnie, working down low. Off corner number two, going to grab the spot, making a car lane almost the advantage into corner number three. Ronnie doesn't slide high. That allows Elton to come up close on the back bumper off corner number four. As they do the dosey do back and forth, Mark Johnson trying to run away and hide from the rest of the field. So Mark Johnson, Ronnie Johnson, followed by Elton Palmer. Then it's A.J. Romano, now Mount Lorenzo up to the number five spot. Six is Mark Kozlowski, but he is being pressured now by Ryan Odaz. 
Odez on the outside, the number 24 car, working the top side through turn three. Now as he works off of corner number four, bringing it down the home stretch, Odez will have that spot over Kozlowski. Danny Barron in the mix as well, and those guys are racing right now for position number six as they try to chase down the 3D of Matt DiLorenzo and break into the top five. A.J. Romano really starting to reel in your top three right now. He's going to look to the bottom side off corner number four. And he is starting to reel in Elton Palmer. Palmer makes it three, four car lengths ahead. But as he goes right back on attack mode now, he's working down on the inside. Ronnie up on the top. That's the way they go down into corner number three. Here comes Elton Palmer one more time down to the inside. So Palmer and Ronnie Johnson continue to battle for position number two all the while out in front is the 3J of Mark Johnson. RJ now clears Palmer into turn one. He's got a couple of car lengths on him as Elton Palmer looks back down low. Here comes Elton Palmer. Palmer nearly gets into the side of Ronnie Johnson. Into corner number three, he'll tiptoe down on the inside while Ronnie Johnson works it up on the top side. They stay side by side. Right together here off of turn number four to the stripe. Ronnie Johnson again, a couple of car lengths over Elton Palmer. Those two are Surprisingly, reeling in your race leader, Mark Johnson. Johnson down the back stretch, and he's coming up on slower traffic. The 10% of Johnny Kolar working down on the inside. Also, the 37 out there of uh, Barber, I believe. He is all over the place right now. Kolar can't find a way by. So that time by now, here comes Mark Johnson. Kolar slides high, and they got the old pick and roll going. Now, Ronnie Johnson to the lead. So RJ grabs the number one spot. Justin Barber is slowing down the back stretch, so traffic a problem for the 3J of Mark Johnson. As a result, Ronnie Johnson able to take the number one spot. So RJ shows the way now, followed by Johnson, Palmer, AJ Romano, and Matt DiLorenzo. That is still your top five. Odaz six, Danny Barron seven, Kozlowski eight. Ninth will be the 6H of Josh Hohenforst. Bobby Barron now rounds out your top 10. Down the back stretch into corner number three, Elton Palmer now looking down low, and we've got a caution out on the Speedway caution coming out. Over at corner number three on the high side in the tires, you can see the 22 of Dave Lape sits parked up there against the tires. I know there's row number three, fifth and sixth, seventh, Danny Varen, eighth, Mark Kozlowski, ninth, Josh Hohenforce, tenth is the number double zero of Bobby Varen. And then the rest of them right there behind him. Field looking for the green. Lights extinguished on the pace car. Nine laps into books. Double file restart. Ronnie sets the pace, hits the gas, and A.J. Romano going to follow him down into corner number three. So the green coming back out. We go three wide through the middle of the corner, and Elton Palmer figures it out, gets the restart. How about Odaz up on the top side? He's going to race side by side with Lorenzo here down the front stretch. They race into the number one corner. Johnson slips up. He'll have A.J. Romano knocking on the door. Lorenzo took a look underneath, but Lorenzo couldn't get it done. Down the back stretch, Romano trying to find a way by the 3J of Mark Johnson. He dives low, and he may have the number three spot. Yep, he'll pull the slider, and he'll get it done. So A.J. Romano now third. A.J. Romano back up to number three spot. Mark Johnson slipping up one spot at a time. He's back to fourth. Odez right now rides fifth, but he's got DiLorenzo right there and coming. Danny Varen, Mark Kozlowski, Bobby Varen all right there as well. Back up to the front. Out in the front is Ronnie Johnson. Out Palmer, hungry for another win here in 2011, trying to track him down. Yeah, these cars have been the two dominant cars here in 2011. Right now, they're getting it done. A.J. Romano struggling over there in turn two, but it don't matter because caution is out on the racetrack. Car around over there in turn number four. And maybe Eric Nelson's number 85, possibly. Again, can't see. We've got lights directly in our eyes. Yes, it is. The 85 of Eric Nelson, the reason for the caution. Over there in turn number four, so he'll get hit. White flag again, so a pair of 76 is on the front row. RJ going to elect to go to the outside here for the restart. Green flag coming back out. We're racing one more time down the back straight away into corners number three and four. And Johnson going to lead the way off the turn, but Palmer, Palmer giving it to him at the line. RJ's got him by a nose. Palmer working it down low. How about Ryan Odaz now? Odaz jumps up into the number three spot. Matt DiLorenzo, he'll get shuffled back to the sixth position. And now Danny Varen, Mark Kozlowski all right together in the corner number three. Side by side now off of turn number four come your lead duo. As they come down to the line, Ronnie Johnson back at the front. 
Elton Palmer not going to give up working down low. The old veteran working, and we've got caution lights on once again. Josh yeah. Flint around in between three and four. Back to it. Everybody a little antsy tonight. No points on the line. Everybody just wants to get that feature victory. So Ronnie Johnson, Elton Palmer, teammates here on the front row. Ryan Odaz, nice drive for Odaz. He started back in a 10th spot. Now running there in third. So here we go. Green is out. We are back underway on the back straightaway. Field charges down into corners number three and four. And again, it's Ronnie Johnson, Elton Palmer on the front row, duking it out here for a position off of turn number four. RJ on the outside. RJ's got him here. As they come down to the line, Palmer still there. AJ Romano now back to the outside. And Romano races back around Ryan Odas. Big restart for Darwin Green. He came from way outside the top 10. Now he's riding about the number eight spot. He's working up there on the outside of Mark Johnson. Off corner number four, side by side. Johnson going to take it up to the high side of the speedway. Maybe pull a little bit of block and roll. But here comes Darwin Green one more time upstairs. Just sitting outside the top seven as he blew by both Varens and Kislowski on the restart. In the corners, number three and four, Ryan Odaz, Matt DiLorenzo we're looking for a way by A.J. Romano. Romano getting a little loose on the top side, and Odaz sticks the nose back underneath. Odaz at the line, at the number three position, but here comes Romano one more time. Romano working it on the top side, side by side. Rub, 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 rub. They race down the back straightaway. They work below the golden arches into turn three. Now as they come charging at us off of corner number four, Odaz still trying to get that spot, but it will be Romano on the outside, holding Patton position number three. Halfway down, halfway home for your race leader, Ronnie Johnson. Here comes Elton Palmer one more time down the backstretch. Racing him awful hard, a lot harder than he did just a few weeks ago on Night of Champions. Now he's looking down low on the inside off corner number four, right there on the back bumper. Now a car like that, the line, Elton Palmer going to throw it in hard. Down on the inside once again, pull alongside, bobbled there on the bottom of two. That allows RJ to skate away a couple car lengths down the backstretch. Ryan Oda is going to lose a spot on the back straightaway as Matt DiLorenzo looks underneath. Matty D going to grab that spot into corner number three. So DiLorenzo now up to the number four spot. And here comes Josh Hohenforst. Hohenforst working on Ryan Odaz as well. And Odaz may have issues on the 24. A little shaky there off of corner number four that time. We'll keep an eye on him. And right behind them, you've got Mark Johnson and the 3J, uh, in the 3J with the three of Mark Kislowski. And now Bobby Barron attempting to get by Darwin Green. Bear going to stick a nose underneath of Green. Green way up there on the high side. He's going to cut it close down back to the inside of the speedway. Can't quite catch up. Bear going to slide on by now. He is now up inside the top ten once again. Trouble on the back stretch. Tough break for A.J. Romano. He's going to pull it into the infield. And he's going to sit parked there on the center of the back stretch. And the field is going to continue on. But you see yellow lights coming out. And we've got another caution lap number 18. White flag coming out. That means green on the backstretch. That's where the restarts happen here at the track. JBS lights off. Extinguished on the pace car to the safety of the pit area. RJ going to set the pace. He hits the gas. And away we go once again. Elton Palmer going to take a peek down to the inside. Here comes Josh Hoffers. Matty DiLorenzo up on the top side. Matt DiLorenzo looking for it up on the top side. Car around over in corner number three and four. Looks to be the number 41 of Busta. Field continues on, but we've got a car around in corner number three. Caution lights back on. So, yeah, indeed, Chris Booster around over there in turn number three. So, everybody going to woe up down the back stretch. And Darwin Green.
no single foul here on the restart. White flag being displayed. Ronnie Johnson, Alton Palmer, Matt DiLorenzo, Josh Holmforce, Ryan Odaz. Your top five, Mark Kislowski, Mark Johnson, Bobby Barron, Craig Hanson, Danny Barron. That is how they'll go to the green here on the restart. And we are two and on the back, back stretch. Now DiLorenzo going to try a little bit different approach here. He got by Alton Palmer on the outside last time, so Palmer goes high, and here comes DiLorenzo down low. And Matt DiLorenzo looking to grab the number two spot. So Matty D on the charge here. He's going to grab that second spot away. Does he have anything for Ronnie Johnson? We'll find out. Down the back stretch of the race, Palmer bobbles, gets out of shape, and here comes Holenforce. Holenforce until he gets by. Holenforce trying to go into the inside. Elton Palmer slammed the door right in his face as he was right underneath. Now Matt DiLorenzo, he's got his sights set on the 76 of Ronnie Johnson. And we've got a car stopped up here on slow on the front stretch. That's the 3J of Mark Johnson. Looks like Johnson has a left rear flat. He is coasting over into corner number one and two. Keep an eye, see if he's able to get off of the speedway. Field charging down here to the strike. Ronnie Johnson, he is your leader. And now caution coming out for Mark Johnson. So we are under caution one more time here in this one. And a whole bunch of cars together over in turn number four. Boost, I believe, is involved. Kolar involved. Ray Siddeley involved. Josh Flint is over here as well. Several other cars involved there. As I'm trying to see, there's two cars right in the middle of the track that everyone is driving under. And at this point, I can't see the numbers on them. I believe one is the Ronka car. And the other one is Darwin Green, possibly. The nose on that ride. And now we have some debris here, metal, on the track over in turn number one. Hey, how about it, Johnny? All right, looking for the green on the back straightaway. RJ Matty D. Ready to turn them loose here. Green is out. We're racing one more time. Can Matt DiLorenzo hang with Ronnie Johnson? Can he get it done? We'll have to find out. Into turns number three and four. RJ gets the good restart. Matt DiLorenzo goes to the outside. Palmer and now Ryan Odaz getting around Josh Holmforth. Odaz now up to the number four spot. He worked over Alan Palmer, but nothing doing. Backstretch. Ronnie Johnson still shows the way. So Matt DiLorenzo got the caution he needed. Now can he catch him? Down into corner number three and four, Matt DiLorenzo working down on the inside. Off corner number four, RJ working on the high side. Couple cars around over there in corner number four again. So caution coming back out once again. Fourteen and twenty C. So CG Mori and. Craig Hansen is who is involved over there in turn four. Again, right in the spot where we can't see. Never fails. Trying to look at the... cars remain in this main event. Marathon, Enduro. All right, here we go. Green is out. And that was interesting, but we're going to go racing on the back straight away. And at corners three and four, Ronnie Johnson leaves. Odaz to the outside of Alton Palmer. Matty D there. So DiLorenzo still sitting in the number two spot, but right now he doesn't look like he has got anything for Ronnie Johnson. Bobby Barron going to step out of line. Everybody else going to try to tuck down low. Here comes Barron to the outside of Holland Force. Now Barron working on Alan Palmer down the back stretch. Into corner number three. They are rub rail to rub rail. 
Varen trying to get up to the number four spot, and Varen may have something for him here off of turn four. Palmer low, and there goes Bobby Varen. So Varen up to four. So eight laps remain, and Bobby Varen finally starting to get that thing wound up. Danny Varen trying to follow. So off corner number two, Bobby Varen, good run. Track it down. Ryan Odaz cut the distance in half down into corner number three and four, so the caution really helped Bobby off the high side of corner number four. He's going to be within a few car lengths as they cross the stripe of Ryan Odaz. So Matty D, so far nothing for Ronnie Johnson as Johnson continues to show the way. Looking at the lap times, last time by, DiLorenzo ran his quickest lap of the race, but so far it is not quick enough to catch Ronnie Johnson. Johnson, the 2011 track champion, get it done. And now a couple cars together in turn number four, Danny Varon and Alton Palmer, and we've got caution on the racetrack one more time. So Elton Palmer broke over there between corner number three and four, right in front of Danny Varon. No place to go, and Varon T-bones Elton Palmer. So that is the reason for the caution. Palmer broke between three and four, went down to the bottom side of the speedway. All right, we've taken the white flag, the Morris Auto Group. Pace car will head pit side here on Benjamin Moore paint night. As we get a green on the back straight away. Odaz, Odaz went to the outside of Di Lorenzo, had to get on the binders as Di Lorenzo came up. And now Bobby Varon works him over. As they come off of turn number four, Bobby Varon to the inside. Bobby Varon now third. So how about it? Bobby Varon on the charge. Him and Odaz stay side by side through turns number one and two. Down the back stretch they'll go. Varon slides up. Varon now has the spot as they take it to turn number three. So Bobby Varon now up in the top three. Now he's going to go to work on Matt DiLorenzo. Reels him in, but DiLorenzo pulls the diamond move off the bottom of corner number four. And Hornfor is going to get by with five to go on Odaz. Odaz right back on the gas off the bottom of corner number two. Hornfor working up on the top side. Track race down the back stretch side by side into corner number three. As they work it up off of turn number four, you can see Matt DiLorenzo starting to search around. Now he went to the outside, drove up off the bottom of the speedway. Trying to catch Ronnie Johnson, and that time around, he was still a tick slower than your race leader, Ronnie Johnson. So Matty D is searching. He's trying to find something. But right now, nothing is working. It's Ronnie Johnson continues to dominate this main event. Off the turn, he'll come. We've got lap 27 now complete for Ronnie Johnson. So just about three more laps, and Champ going to pick one more up here this year in 2011. Well, started way up there in the front, and it looks like he's had this one since real early on into corner number three and four this time by parallel flags in the air two laps to go for ronnie johnson but two to go for rj the driver out of dwaynesburg into turn number one matt DiLorenzo lorenzo still running back there in the number two spot bobby Barron third the race for fourth still going between ryan odas and the number six h of josh hohenforce hohenforce gets by down the back stretch so that'll put odas back the fifth sixth right now is mark kislowski seventh on the move getting by collins will be chris booster white flag this time for ronnie johnson so RJ, final time to turn number one, works it up off that cushion. Now down the back straight away, pulling away from Matt DiLorenzo. Final time to corner number three. One more time, they'll take it to turn number four. Checkered flag is going to come out this time around, picking up the victory. And this modified main event will be Ronnie Johnson. Second will go to Matt DiLorenzo. Third to Bobby Barron. Fourth at the line will go to Josh Holmforce. Fifth to Ryan Odaz. Sixth. Mark Kozlowski, 7th, Chris Busta, 8th, Hansel Collins, ninth, Mark Johnson, and 10th will be Don Ronca. And then it'll be the Siddeley, number 88, rounding out your field in the 11th spot. So again, picking up the victory, the 76A of Ronnie Johnson. So win number seven here at the Fonda Speedway for Ronnie Johnson. Coming off a fifth place finish last Saturday night up in the New Yorker. And a win in the Thunder Series 50 lap $5,000 win event on Friday night up at Utica Rome Speedway. So RJ goes to the scales. He'll make his way down trackside. Have a word with our Mimi Lazaro. So we'll send it down to her right now.
Make that sixth win on the season. What? Reading the form wrong. Yeah. Sorry. Should we blame Ed? Yeah, we can blame Ed. All right. Even though it was me, we'll blame Ed. Yep. That's what happens when you try counting in the dark. In victory lane here with the 76A Palmer Service Center TO Pro Car driven by the 2011 track champion. All right, folks, he is getting out. Let's hear it for him. Ronnie Johnson is your modified feature winner. Giving lots of hugs and kisses down here from wife Shelly and Carol Palmer. Ron, congratulations. Was that, am I the only one, or like, was that like a 100 lap race there? That felt like a marathon. Uh, every time we get going, uh, yellow come out. Everybody's seen that. But it just uh, must have been a little wild there in the back of the pack. And it uh, seems like every time I'm leading a race here, the yellow comes out a lot. And uh, <laughs> some nights there's, uh, I'm hoping for a yellow, and tonight was one of them nights it just wasn't wasn't meant to be for yellow flags. Now, what goes through your head? What, I mean, you're yellow after yellow after yellow. What's going through your head? Is there somebody behind me? Are my tires going to get worn out? What's through your head? Well, you always know somebody's behind you. Uh, the track was in a condition where tonight was going to wear tires, but, you know, uh, right when I got myself into a rhythm, yellow come out. <laughs> so I have to regroup, and then a million things go through your mind under the caution, and... Uh, but I know we had a decent car. Uh, Carol and Elton Palmer got a pretty good race car here under us, and uh, I'm happy to win in their car here tonight. So uh, our hats are off to Carol and Elton. Now, speaking of Elton Palmer, you guys were running tough together there, banging a little bit, going down the back stretch. Is that How fun is that for you? Oh, heck. I mean, he's my car owner here tonight, and uh, we're rubbing Nerf bars going down the back stretch at 100 miles an hour. And uh, I know he was giving it his all. I could tell just the way he was racing. He wanted to beat me. and. Uh, I wanted to be him just as bad, and it was fun for a few laps. I see he dropped out there. I don't know what happened, but uh, we'll see when we get back to the pair area. Now, Rob Hazer is wanting me to tell you that he picked you, so I'm telling you for Rob, he picked you. Is he your luck charm? What's going on there? Oh, Hazer's a good uh, buddy, good fan, uh, good for the race and good for sp the sport. Uh, Hazer, I know, has always got, uh, got my back here when we're here. All right, folks, let's hear it one more time for your modified feature winner and the 2011 track champion, Mr. Ronnie Johnson.